Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are, wherever you're coming from. Welcome to today's video about going to Bologna. We got one, two. Now I gotta go validate it. Right here. I swear, Pablo and I became pros at the metro by the time we were going to Bologna, so we did take the metro a lot. It's super affordable, and yes, I know a lot of people say there's pickpocketers on it, but we did not see any pickpocketers on our entire trip. We were still careful and not careless. Here we were just taking the metro to our train. We made it to the train, and we got this from like a cute little shop right outside. So we got a cappuccino and then a cornetta con crema, which is really good. It's like pudding on the inside. and. Yeah, it's like lemony on the outside and the pudding is good, so. The train's pretty empty right now. We're in business class because you get more leg room and you get leather seats. If you're not in business class, you get like the cloth seats and then you get a cute little table at the front, which you guys are on. There's not that much of a difference, eh? Price, no. It's just like a couple dollars more. You might as well just upgrade it. And then they also have business silent. So if you want to like sleep, you can't talk on that one. So that's another one, probably I think those ones, but this business class and then regular but yeah we're leaving in like five minutes but this is bomb would definitely recommend it this was the place Yeah, so we're going to the two like towers. There's a restaurant there that we're gonna have like breakfast and wait because we're meeting up with one of his friends that's also gonna meet us in here. So we're gonna go get some breakfast, probably another coffee. I feel like I need it while we wait for them. They come in an hour on their train. I'm so tired because last night we were out and about till midnight. I know, and walking so much too. We walked a yeah. lot last night and then we had to wake up early this morning. <laughs> Here's some fun facts about Bologna that I actually didn't know, but on May 2006, it became the UNESCO City of Music. They're also known for their food, which I didn't even know that while we were there. So Bologna is known for being the best or one of the best cities in Italy to eat. Some people even call it Italy's food capital, which is why it has the nickname La Grazza, meaning the fat one, which I had no idea about it also is home to the oldest university worldwide so that's pretty crazy here we are just exploring the streets honestly it was really really pretty we do also end up trying this unreal sandwich that you will see right now i like bologna <laughs> It's actually very nice. It's very nice. I like it. Yeah, tortellini. These sandwiches right here. Oh my gosh, the best sandwich I've ever had and will probably ever have the things I would do to have it here. And those two towers that I just showed you are another thing that Bologna is known for. But these sandwiches, oh, we got two more because they were so good. Yeah, I pardon my ignorance. At first, I'm like, what are we gonna do over there? But now I see. They don't have much, but what they do have so far is good. Yeah. I cannot find the name of this restaurant for the life of me. I just spent 20 minutes trying to figure it out. I have no idea, so if I find it, it'll be in the description. But one thing I do regret was that we didn't try these types of cold cut sandwiches 
in other places in bologna because this one was truly so good i regret not going to other like sandwich shops and trying what they have there because i'm sure it would have been delicious like this is one of the things that they're known for but also look at how pretty these places were we went and explored this church was absolutely beautiful and we did some shopping outfit update i got a hat we're and he did too yeah and this one oddly enough matches the flowers on my dress like perfectly and it was the last one this place is so nice honestly i didn't I didn't know what I was expecting coming here. I thought it was going to be like doll, but no. It's a yeah. very nice place. Very, very stylish. Cute. And then we finally met up with Pablo's friend. They finally arrived, so his girlfriend was walking with me, and then the boys were ahead of us, and then we went to this place for lunch, which you're going to kill me again because I don't remember the name of it. They actually chose it, and we just walked with them. So these are all the pastas. I got the tortellini, which was honestly so good. I enjoyed it a lot more than the lasagna, which is this one which Pablo got, but either way, we shared both. And then we got the best gelato ever. It's on the screen right now, the menu, and the name is there so you guys can see that. Okay, you have to get the vanilla bianca and the caramel salato, and thank me later the best gelato ever <laughs> this, which one did you get and, uh, vanilla. Vanilla bianca? <laughs> yeah oh try it try it the bianca <laughs> oh try the salted camera what the heck? Should have got an extra large in a cup. <laughs> this place also had good ratings, so we wanted to go here to compare the two, but honestly, the first one was elite. And then I'm going to a second place because apparently this one was tied with the other place that we just had so we had to compare both but this one's already melting because it's very hot and i got a tiramisu which she told me to leave out for a little bit because it's frozen so we can't eat that but this is melting so far in terms of sustainability <laughs> retainability how is it i'm good but sticky it's caramel with caramel drizzle and caramel chunks oh god okay try hmm. i don't know oh. you're the guy that paid for our lunch this is oh. the random stranger we met. Oh, hi there. That's actually pretty bomb. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. It is now a few hours later. Pablo, as always, is in the shower. Honestly, as soon as we get back to our hotel room, we just shower and go to bed and, like, eat something because, oh, my gosh, it is so hot today. But we stopped by this sandwich place, which I think I've showed you guys before, but this is honestly one of our favorite places to just go. It's right around the corner from our hotel, so it's, like, a three-minute walk cheap and they have really good stuff so i got the spicy chorizo sandwich this time with mozzarella cheese he got the same thing we of course had to get two of the schweppes these are so good so we got two of those and also got these but my gosh my makeup completely like rubbed off you guys can probably see but like honestly i don't even care i just cannot wait to go shower tomorrow we're going to florence but we have to wake up so early like our train leaves at 6 45 in the morning it was a lot cheaper to go at 6 45 in the morning because even seven o'clock trains were super super expensive so i suggest looking at different times if you want to go do the whole traveling to different places because you can get good deals if you go earlier or if you come back later like we're coming back very very late tomorrow i think at like 11 p.m we'll be back home it's like an hour and a half ride our train leaves at like 9 45 so that's gonna be another super long day my hat I'm probably gonna wear it again because this was a lifesaver in the sun. Three more days left, which probably means three more vlogs. But yeah, that was what we did in Bologna. I know it was kind of like a smaller little vlog, but Bologna is very small and we weren't there for that long. The guy that you saw in the vlog, I think you saw him and maybe his girlfriend too. I'm not sure if I showed the girlfriend, but I do know the guy like popped in for the vlog, but they're originally from berlin and so they flew in from milan and then from milan came to bologna we decided to like meet in the middle that is one of pablo's friends they've known each other for like seven eight years so practically as long as pablo and i have been dating they've known each other and yes we met up with them but they were coming in from milan and then they had to go because they're staying in bologna for a night they had to check in shower all of that stuff so it took them quite a while to get to us but once we were all reunited we went out and like explored but then we had to get a train back because the other trains were just way too expensive so we had to do like a 5 45 one and it's nine o'clock and we're just getting home so 
we're definitely tired but yeah that is everything for today's vlog i'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow in florence if you're not subscribed just definitely hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one bye